All right, YouTube, what has got inside our 5,000 here today? Bringing you a brand new episode of Road to Mats. Today, we start off episode number 46, and I have got the number right this week. Doing a Slayer task, we're doing Desert Strike Worms. Overall, quite a good task, actually. I'm about to get a hit points level here. It was within like my third kill of a task. This clip comes from Monday's live stream. I live streamed on Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday this week. So I'm struggling, I think, really with the eight o'clock live streams, to be honest. It's just that time. Sometimes I'm not really feeling up for it at that time, or I'm busy at that time, like it was on Wednesday and Thursday. So, but then I went and live streamed on Saturday. I did a double live stream recording of Grim Tales and also Anakra's Lament, I think the quest is pronounced. So I did a recording of that. I think also one of the streams earlier on in the week was also another quest guide. So I enjoyed streaming quests, actually. I did it by accident. I think on Tuesday I was recording a stream Stream. I did it by accident, I just meant to record but I was streaming and then I thought you know what let's go ahead and do that so I think that's what I'm going to start doing in the future so that means that streams up and coming are going to be quests and slayer which I do think some people enjoy actually the quest streams just because it's something to have on in the background it's not really I'm going to be continuously chatting to the stream I'm not just like focusing on the quest I do focus on the quest a wee bit more but I'm still interacting with the chat and I do actually find it quite enjoyable because it's basically just me going ahead and actually doing the quest anyway so if you want to you can go ahead and do it at the same time as me or you can wait for the video which will come out in the following few weeks I'd imagine depends on my schedule or you can just go ahead and watch it and just hang out chill out you know and relax which is what I aim to provide as well anyway going back to Slayer here so we're now halfway through the Slayer level I did some more Slayer tasks later on in the week and I'm now 78k away from getting to level 85 so in the next episode of Road to Max, we should get the level. That'll be Abyssal Demons, which as you know, I'm very, very excited for. I'll still take a few more tasks to do, however, the once we get to that stage, I'll be very, very happy. And then we just need to continue on the grind all the way up to level 90. I've now also moved up my Slayer Helm to Tier 2, if you did not know, which is quite good. So now it is a Strengthened Slayer Helm, I believe it is now. However, we need like 600 more points now to get my full, complete Slayer Helm. So that's going to take a long time as well. So that's the other goal I'm working towards. And that will also just make us continuously train Slayer, which I'm primarily going to do through live streams. So you want to tune in on Monday 8pm, when I will be live streaming at that time. I probably will get level in that stream, unless I get really shit Slayer tasks. Again, right now, my current Slayer task is, I think, Jungle Strike Worm, so not too bad a task. Hopefully, we'll either get it on Monday or Tuesday's live stream, so you want to tune in for that. If you do want to know when I am live streaming, it's primarily going to be 8 o'clock UK time. However, if that changes, then you want to go ahead and follow me on Twitch and Twitter and like me on Facebook down below, just to keep up to date for when I'm streaming. So as you can see right now, we're doing some ring crafting. We're only 3k off getting to level 98. Over the past week, I've slowly been working towards it. I've not actually done too much ring crafting this week, just because it's mainly been doing quests and editing quests, all that sort of stuff, just due to the fact that I've got exams coming up. So I want to have videos prepared for that. Rune crafting though, it's also a very slow skill as most of you will know, because I'm doing it a rune span way. I could go ahead and actually do it the proper way, going ahead and actually making runes and selling them, which I might partially do for the last level because now I'm at level 98, or just about at level 98, I want to get it really really fast and get to that level 99. However, if I'm going to be doing it via rune span, then there's probably not going to be as much as an urge because I know it's there. I just need to go ahead and do it. But again, this week I'm planning to do quite a lot of quests, so it just really depends on how much time I give and get myself. Thing is, as well, you need like 1.25 mil to actually go ahead and get from level 98 to 99. And rune crafting at the heat, it'll probably take at least 12 hours to get, which is really a long, long, long time. If I'm to do it the other way, I'm not really at all sure how long it will take me. But it'll finally be good to actually get out of this place. I'm a bit sick and tired of this place now, to be honest. Sometimes, it really depends what day you ask me. Do I like Runecraft and do I not? Right now I don't because it is just a grind. But it's also nice and easy enough to AFK. So it's got some pros, it's got some cons like most skills do. But go ahead and tell me what your Runecrafting level is in the description below. Just because I get the feeling that everyone's Runecrafting level is very, very low. I believe... Runecrafting is like my second highest ranked skill out of all my skills, which is kind of surprising actually. I thought runecrafting with rune spam would actually become actually like a lot of people would train the skill. However, I think a lot of people still just leave the skill 
It is a good skill though at the end of the day because it does actually give you quite a lot of benefits. It's not a dead skill like some of the others which I've talked about before. And there we go, there is the level. That is level 98, so we're going to stop siphoning right there. So 8 mind runes per essence. There's actually probably some duplicate stuff which is actually worth a decent amount of money as well. Obviously doing double nats at 91, but there might be something for example like fire runes. I'm not at all sure. 30 fire runes, it'd be a shame we couldn't do 4 because that would probably not be a too bad money making method either. Now that I've got that level though, I'm going to go ahead and do something else, get out of here. As you can see there, we've got 1,228,000 experience to level 99. I'm hoping to get some dailies through that as well. Throughout this past level, I've probably gone ahead and done about at least 3 dailies, which has been very, very helpful. They give about 65k at my level per daily you complete, so it's very much worth doing. So as you can see right now, I'm down here in Uglog, or just north of Mobilising Armies. I was looking for Jungle Strike Worms, because I was going to go ahead and get that task started. However, I can't find them. I know they're round about here somewhere, but I'm just going to leave that for now. Just getting a few kills on these orgs, really. I'm just getting a range level. As you can see, I'm only 481 XP away from the level. Basically, during this week's Slayer live streams, I was using the cannon quite a lot, because I had quite a lot of cannon related tasks like Dragonoths for example they weren't in the main Slayer locations so where you can't take cannons into so that meant that I probably got about 50k or so range experience because I'm also only level 86 right now there's still not that large a gap between the levels it is my third lowest level I believe farming's lowest then it goes to Slayer then it goes to Joint with Hunter at level 86 so it is still my lowest or one of my lowest levels so that means I'm getting a level at quite a fast rate and range you can train at a really fast rate as well it's one of those skills which you can easily get a few hundred k xp per hour it really just depends on what you're killing anyway so there we go that is the level the level itself is not actually that significant i thought you know what i need to go ahead and record this so it doesn't really matter where i go ahead and record this one thing i was thinking though is as you can see the render distance is very very poor here i think this place in the next generation client is going to look absolutely amazing just the render distance you're going to be able to see so far through into the forest I think it will look absolutely great and it'll be a much more enjoyable area to come and visit. Anyway, nothing new unlocked, wasn't expecting that. Don't really think there's anything new to level 90 to be honest, but again I probably won't use any of it. Actually I take that back, Ascension Crossbow might be kind of useful. So as you can see right now, I'm in a bit of an odd location. I'm in Brimhaven on Karamja, and I'm about to get a farming level. I know I was just moaning about farming. Basically, over the past few weeks, RuneScape's had this thing where they've had Guthanix's butterflies in, giving you a certain amount of XP in your lowest skill. As that is farming, I basically gained about 100k in farming XP, and that only put me about 35k away from getting level 83 farming. So I've ran around, I already had some trees planted which I failed to go ahead and check the health on the last double XP weekend. So I've gone ahead and ran around some. This here is another one which I need to go ahead and check, and that is level 83. Don't think I'll lock anything new. Maybe spirit trees, no idea what they are, probably won't use them. I do need to get back into farming. The thing with farming is, it's not, it's just really not enjoyable at all. I don't get any enjoyment out of it, and that's why I don't do it. However, I probably really should do it, and now I've got a wee bit more money, I will definitely get back into doing it. One thing I struggle with is just keeping track of time of when I should be going ahead and checking on my trees, that sort of stuff. So that's why I think the Rune app alert, which I'm sort of thinking about making, would come in really, really handy for stuff like farming, as well as stuff like Guthanix's catch, which should help me train divination as well. Unfortunately though I'm only about 20 or so percent of the way through farming guessing that's level 99 so that's going to be a long one however it is a long term one anyway that's why I need to get back onto it because you are waiting quite a long time however if I'm going ahead and planting the best fruit trees I can and the best like normal trees wood trees I can then that will actually get me quite a lot of XP so I'm not really overly bothered to be honest, I know I can probably get at least 150k a day and that is quite a lot so it would probably only take me about 90 days to get to level 99 so and again I could go ahead and get some other farming XP from other stuff as well like herbs or like quests but we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway that is going to be all for this episode of Road to Max. I do apologise it was a short one, I've not got on too much this week and when I have been on as you know I've been doing quests, I did like 3 or 4 quests this week so I'm just preparing quest guides for the upcoming future. 
On the agility front, I'm 30% of the way through level 95. Not done my serenity post, got a nice chunk of bonus XP there. On the magic front, only 28k away from a level, so you might see a level in that one. On the invention front, oddly I'm not actually getting anything this week. I've got a bandage chest plate at level 9, that'll give me 500k when I get it to level 10. So I'll go ahead and disassemble that next week, that'll get me to level 50. And then by that stage, hopefully I should maybe have tacits or a, another Sardamon and Sword at level 10. So hopefully next week we might get level 53. In saying that, there's no guarantee there'll be an episode next week. It just depends how fast to get levels. So I'm going back to the stage now where there might not be a road to max every single week. I can't guarantee that anymore just because I'm not playing as much. However, there will still be a video every three to four days if that's a road to max or if that's a quest. Go ahead again, follow me on Twitter and Facebook to know when I'm uploading videos. Anyway, that is going to be all for this episode. Hopefully next week I'll have Nightmare Runecraft and we'll just have to wait and see as well as having 85 Slayer. But you'll just have to wait till next time to find out. So that is all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Hyster5000 and I'm out. Adios.